coach, and I'm going to ask you to introduce both of your players, and we'll make a brief opening statement and take any questions from the media. Okay. This is Junior Ali Sapa and Junior Morgan Smith. Statement, coach. Um, you know, tough loss. Um, we just didn't play as well as we had all year. Um, part of that, though, has to be you got to give credit to Pamlico. I thought they were very aggressive and they executed their game plan um, very well. Um, I thought our kids battled and battled and battled. Um, it just wasn't our day. Um, things just didn't go the way we would have liked. Questions for Coach? Coach players. Coach, what did you see that they were doing that was causing you guys the most problems as far as, I mean, you guys made some three-pointers, you got some open shots. Pass, Ellie had a lot of nice looks, assists. Uh, just what what did you think they were doing to bother you? Um, I mean, it was just they were running a box in one, and they went to a triangle and two a little later in the second half. Um, I just felt like, you know, it was one of those things where the ball just wasn't going in the hole enough for us. Um, but their speed um, obviously played a factor into that. Um, we have not seen anyone as quick as the Jones kid for them. Um, we knew she was quick, but um, you, you can't simulate that if you don't have that. Um, and another thing was their, their big kids down low. Um, we knew they were um, really good offensive rebounders, and they were. Um, I felt like we did a really good job of getting position um, to get the rebounds. Um, unfortunately, um, just the thing, just the ball just didn't go our way. Coach, you guys were in control for most of the game. They would have a lot of rallies in the first three quarters, and you guys always had an answer every time they tied it or took a one-point lead. Um, I, I know they kind of broke through there at the end, but what was going right for your team every time, the mental toughness to have that answer every time they pushed? Um, well, it's kind of been our thing all year. Um, just to kind of keep pushing. Um, if you followed us through the playoffs, um, we've had some situations where we had a rally, um, and that's just the nature of our kids. Um, they're extremely mental, mentally tough. Um, unfortunately, uh, Pamela was able to make the last rally, and we just couldn't recover. Yeah, you guys had your close game with Cherokee that went your way. You had the close one last last week that went your way with Murphy on the on the last second shot. Um, Losing a close game after winning two, you know, obviously it, it's tough and I'm sure, and you know, it hurts. But just the toughness, for those of us that don't see you guys a lot, just the toughness and the character of your girls, just talk about that. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of weird. You don't usually see toughness like that from a young group. Um, but uh, for whatever reason, um, all of our kids are just mentally tough. I, I, there's no it's no recipe for it. They're just, that's just the nature of those kids. Um, Luckily for us, we get them all back next year, and um, hopefully we can use this as a learning experience. Um, and so we can move forward, and hopefully we'll be back here next year, and we'll be celebrating this time. Coach, we talked a lot about uh, this week, just East Surrey, having never been to a state championship in 18 years. Um, really, I mean, how special is it being here today? And, I mean, just kind of soaking it all in despite the loss. Oh, it was very special. Um, you know, last night we watched a video from the 2001 state championship team at East Area that sent our kids a video. Um, it just shows you how tight-knit our community is. Um, so to be able to be here, um, be one of the final two teams still playing basketball this weekend, um, is just really special. Um, Pamela is a great team, um, and it was a great game. And, um, but it's, uh, it's very special to be uh, one of the last two teams standing. Uh, for Ellen Morgan, as juniors, you know, you guys bring a lot of your group back next year, obviously a very incredible year for you guys. Um, what does this do for your motivation uh, and your want to to get back here next year and, and get over the hill and win the state title next year? Well, it definitely, you know, always motivated, but it gives us, like, that extra push. I think, you know, my I've been here before and I lost, and, you know, kind of, it's not fun, but you know it gives you that we have one more chance to make it happen. I really think we can with this group of girls, especially you know we're young, and we're going to make young mistakes, but we've really overcome that a lot. And I think tonight, I think you know we played well, and I think you know some obstacles got in the way, and our execution might not have been as hot as usual. But I feel like for what we had to push through, I thought we had done well. Are you doing okay after your? Crap. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, okay. I'm good now. <laughs> no, you were down for a while, so we were all kind of. It wouldn't come out. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, can you talk about what, you know, obviously you go up for a shot, get fouled, and then you just go down with that cramp and, and lay there for a while and then go out of the game for a minute. How were you, what were you thinking in here? Like, I got to get back. I was like, oh boy, I was eating mustard on the bench before <laughs> this happened. So I always just kind of get the taste out of my mouth. I was like, this is gross. But it, honestly, um, with the cramp and everything, I, that was kind of unexpected. I didn't expect that coming. Um, 
I started in the third quarter, and then I started eating mustard and drinking water. And we thought it would go away, but it did not go away. It came back. As a team, what are you, what are you ladies most proud of, of yourselves and of your teammates? I think one thing is our bond. Like, none of us, we all get along. We're all pretty good friends. And I think that's helped us get us where we are. And I think, like, us being able, like, me and her, like, we always get them together for the game. We're like, this is what we got to do. This is our game plan. You know, let's go in there with full hearts and clear minds and let's get this done. You know, we, we try to keep each other in check. Morgan, can you talk about the challenge of guarding Janiah Jones and okay, just, uh, what, you got in some foul trouble early. Yeah. You had to go out of the game, but just talk about the challenge that, that you had guarding her today. Um, well, she's real fast. That's one thing. She's just hard to keep up with, to move my feet quick enough, and she can just handle the ball well, better than most people I've had to guard in past games. Morgan, when you're used to, you know, a high school gym, smaller gym, um, and then you come to a gym like this, it's going to be a big adjustment shooting just with the depth perception all that's behind the hoop. Uh, you went 3-6 from 3 today. You kind of made it look easy a little bit. Um, what, what were you seeing out there in terms of just being in rhythm and knocking down shots when you had a chance? Well, honestly, I'm not good. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I kind of just, nothing was going through my head. I'll just catch the ball, and if I'm open, I'll just shoot. Catch the ball, ready to shoot. I hear him in my head saying, if you're open, shoot. <laughs> that wasn't really anything different, I didn't think. Can y'all talk about just the atmosphere? I mean, Pamlico has some great fans down there at the coast. And obviously, I was sitting in front of y'all, so y'all have some loud, passionate fans as well. <laughs> just playing in this atmosphere, I know it's fun when, when you probably play at your home gym, but just playing in this game and this arena, just... It's electric. It's like, you know, you score and the fan goes crazy and you like, oh yeah, now I got I got that extra push to get out here on defense and get a stop. So I think that really, you know, showed us that we have a good fan base and that, you know, we could we could get here again, especially using that as motivation. So anything else? Coach, ladies, congratulations on a great season. Good luck to y'all yeah. in the off season. And see you back here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.